Hello, this video is on hypothesis testing, specifically on the t-test, comparing the means of two populations, as shown here in the syllabus. A t-test is a hypothesis test that can be used to compare the means of two populations. Note that the t-test is only valid if the distribution of the underlying population is normal. In a one-tailed hypothesis test, the alternative hypothesis specifies whether the mean of one population is either greater than or less than the mean of the other population. In a two-tailed hypothesis test, the alternative hypothesis just states that there is a difference between the means of the two populations, i.e. that they're not the same. The basic steps of a t-test are step one to state the null and alternative hypotheses and that alternative hypothesis might be one or two tailed. Step two to collect sample data from each population and to then calculate the sample mean and sample standard deviation. Step three to state the significance level. Step four to calculate the value of the test statistic and the p-value. Step 5 to state the acceptance and rejection criteria and step 6 to draw or make a conclusion either using the test statistic or the p-value. For a t-test comparing the means of two populations the null hypothesis page 0 assumes that the means of the two populations are the same i.e. that there is no difference between them. The alternative hypothesis will be one of the following, that the mean of one population is less than the mean of the other population, that's a one-tailed test, that the mean of one population is greater than the mean of the other population, that's also a one-tailed test, or that the means of the two populations are different, that's a two-tailed test. For example, an oil company claims to have developed a fuel that will increase the distance travelled for every litre of fuel. Performing a t-test to test this hypothesis, the null hypothesis is that there is no difference between the distance travelled with the original and new fuels. In other words, the mean distance with the old fuel is the same as the mean distance travelled with the new fuel. The alternative hypothesis, H1, will be that the distance travelled with the original fuel is less than the distance travelled with the new fuel. And that will be a one-tailed test. To test whether the means of two populations are different, samples from both populations need to be collected and entered into the calculator. The two sets of sample data can either be entered into the calculator as lists or entered using summary values the sample means, the sample standard deviations, and the sample sizes. Note that the two samples do not have to be of the same size. It is assumed that the two populations have the same standard deviation, which is estimated by combining the standard deviations from the two samples. This is then called a pooled standard deviation. In the example, 10 scooters are filled with 1 litre of normal fuel and 10 scooters are filled with 1 litre of the new fuel. The mean and the standard deviation of the distance travelled for each sample set is recorded here. The significance level determines the threshold for making a decision, i.e. it sets the critical value. You will be told what significance level to use in the question. It will either be 1, 5 or 10 percent. The calculation for the test statistic is shown here. However, you do not need to know this formula for the applications and interpretation course. I've only included it here in case you decide to use a t-test in your internal assessment. To test the means of two populations, from the main menu select statistics. You press F6 and F4 to delete any previous lists, F1 to confirm the deletion, Q2 
scrolling across and repeating the process. We're now ready to enter the data. If the data has been given as raw data, then the sample data from population 1 can be entered into list 1, and the sample data for population 2 can be entered into list 2. Pressing F6 twice to get back to the main statistics menu, pressing F3 for a test, and F2 for a t-test, and F2 again for a two-sample test. Then pressing F1 to set data to list. If, however, the sample data is given in summary form, then press F2 to set data to variable. Now, note that you do not need to enter the null hypothesis, H0, as it's always the same, but the population means are equal. So scrolling down to set the alternative hypothesis. And in the example, it was less than. Press F2. Scrolling down again to enter the summary statistics. For the first sample, sample mean was 42.4. The standard deviation was 4.79 kilometers. And the sample size was 10, 10 scooters. For population 2, the second sample, the sample mean was 48.3. Sample standard deviation was 4.55 and the sample size again was 10. Scrolling down and pressing F1 to set pooled to on. And finally pressing execute to perform the test. writing down the value of the test statistic and the p-value, correct to the three significant figures. Reminding you of the acceptance and rejection criteria. If the test statistic is greater than the critical value, or if the p-value is less than the significance level, then there is sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis, H0. Otherwise, we accept the null hypothesis. If the conclusion was to accept the null hypothesis, then we state that there is sufficient evidence at the given significance level to suggest that there is no difference between the means of the two populations. If the conclusion is to reject the null hypothesis, then we say that there is sufficient evidence at the given significance level to suggest that the mean of one population is less than or greater than or not equal to the mean of the other population depending on which tail test was performed. So in the example, testing at a 5% level of significance, which is 0.05, we see that the p-value is less than the significance level, so we reject the null hypothesis, H0. And in conclusion, we state that there is sufficient evidence at the 5% significance level to suggest that the new fuel has increased the distance travelled for every litre of fuel.